Rimmer. Hi, from New York. Mothman. Steers man, you're ever gonna done me. <laughs> the legends, the spake were true. I am back. I'm, I'm back. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm back. It's me. Uh, and if you're thinking, oh boy, I didn't even realize you left. I went on a, a holiday, by which I mean I had a guest here. And there's honestly, in my opinion, no better holiday than a holiday where you have to work for 52 hours con continuously. Uh, and then take the next three days off because you're so incredibly burnt out. That's my favorite kind of holiday. So as you can imagine, I'm refreshed and ready to play RimWorld and stare at big, thick dinosaur ass. Mm. So then, people who are watching right now and not actually anyone else, because that would be very strange. I am... Unless there's someone behind me. He's back, isn't he? The whole list of comments that I have to address. Starting with one that I really do have to talk about right now because I had 11 comments and or Discord messages about it. Rocketman. A mod called Rocketman, which recently hit the Steam Workshop and it cleans up your game for lack of better word. Don't worry about what it does on a technical level. All I will say is I have it. I have it installed. I've had it installed this series. I've had it installed last series. In fact, I've had it installed since before it was even on the Steam Workshop. And if I see another comment about Rocketman, I may cry. I will cry. There are a couple of comments about mods that I've made some adjustments to as well. The first one is the Horseman Storyteller, whatever it's called, mod. It's apparently the thing that was sending us the naked people, uh, which, you know, for some of you that might be a blessing, but for, for this particular playthrough, a little bit annoying when a group of naked people come and punch my sheep. I thought that when people were commenting that the first time around, they meant just on the Horseman Storyteller. Turns out it affects every storyteller. So I've gotten rid of that mod. I'll update the Steam mod pack as I always do. But if you, like me, are sick of closeless people kicking your dog, then I recommend that mod being the one that you've removed first. We've also added a new mod. Someone left a comment. I don't know how many days ago now. I've, I don't know what's going on. Somebody said, look up the Razzle Dazzle mod. Because this mod allows you to essentially let your people do performances. So we can now have our people not only wear animal costumes and then send our guests and our visitors in the restaurant, uh, in the hotel. They can also, you know, put a little theater act, which I think would be incredible. And oh my god, I didn't think about this. I bet it works with Bert. We could have a Stegosaurus do a, do a concert. <laughs> now, in terms of gameplay, three big comments that I've written down here. Everything else I'll sort of mention as we go along. First one, some clever person in the comments point out that there are wall refrigerators in, in the mod pack. Uh, we seem to have... Ah, that's something else I've got to talk about. Don't worry about that for the timing. So we can build refrigerators into the wall. Uh, this is very useful, say, if you have prisoners, then you can load it with meals. They take it out of the other side. Or in this case, we can load it up for animals. The animals could eat the meals out of the refrigerator. We could just fill it with kibble. They eat the kibble. We haven't ever got to interact or go near those animals. Then there were a thousand comments saying train the animals. And I'm pretty sure I said this in an episode. But to reiterate, we are training the animals. There's a lot of animals. And I would rather tame new animals as they come in and belay the training of the animals than train up a sheep to be good at hauling and miss out on a really, really rare creature that we might not see again ever because there is something like 300 animals in this mod pack. And the other final thing I wanted to mention because of other people also playing along, the uh, somebody said that the anesthetic shots from the anesthetic gun apparently used to, when you, when you hit them with a shot and if you shot them again before the anesthetic kicked in, it would reset it. So, the second you fire off the first shot and it's a confirmed hit, you need to stop firing. Oh, John's already playing video game. We've trained all the devil sheep. Oh, that's big. How many have we got? Seven of them. So, those things, funnily enough, make Devil Strand. That's all there is to it. The hell are you doing there? Oh, my God. He's shearing a limb off of the... Oh, uh, well, we got ourselves a mutant leg. That's one for the gift shop. <laughs> oh, and how can I forget? I also added a really, really cool mod. It's on the front page of the Steam Watcher right now. It's called Speak Up. And it's a mod that uses the speech bubble mod to make it so that when they speak, you know how it say like in the log, you know, like uh, Kirkland commented on uh, Martinius' very fancy and fetching pug hat. He'll actually say, hey, Martinius, nice hat. Let's get some animal pens set up. We've got the we, we've, we've got the wall fridges, right? So I can feed them no matter what. Ideally, I'll, I'll just sow a bunch of hay grass, let them eat that, whatever. But if we make sure we got wall fridges as well and everyone, that when an emergency in a cold snap, if we run out of, I don't know, if they eat all the hay grass, whatever. If I don't plan things out very well, which of course never happens on this channel, then we've still got a way to feed them. Whoa, 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 ignoring this. Hang on, that bear's also got a backpack? Okay, ignoring all of this. 
Rebellion Dragon won? When the hell did that happen? Uh, messages. Weather controller. Uh, Bert. <gasps> Whoa! John says he's really tempted Rebellion Dragon. 47% chance? Why? Oh, I guess they have low wildness then, huh? Um, 66%. Was wildness now in percent? Was it always like that? Oh, God, I wish I'd played this game before. Ow! And there were people in the comments saying you should have killed that dragon because it will come back when it's hungry. Oh, it did come back when it's hungry. And now it's here to eat my lavish meals. Hey, get that sheep out of my lavish meal. John! Oh, it's too late, John. <laughs> it's too late. Oh, shit, the raid. Uh, hello? Oh, no, I can't show that on YouTube. Oh, I can't show that on YouTube at all. My, my first plan, along with building, well, a zoo, to be honest with you. Some sort of cages, uh, containment for these animals. My big plan is to get everybody some firearms. Big queue it up. It's just, well, we've been very busy being on fire. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. So, okay, Mego drones. I don't like this, though. Mego caster. A robohedral, a rhombo rhombohedral energy weapon. Mysterious diamond-shaped crystalline artifact. These things, from what I remember, are, like, horribly overpowered. As in, will probably kill Bert the Stegosaurus and make me cry. Oh, shit, get him, Bert. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't like this. Please kill it. Oh, this is so fucked. Oh, this is so fucked. Run. Oh! Yeah, no, maybe, maybe... Bert! What the hell, man? Where are you going? Yeah, maybe, like, actually... Oh, Jesus, Burger. Not Jesus, but... <laughs> <laughs> whole new way to consume the body of Christ. <laughs> well, I mean, they're not very good shot. I mean, it's an entire Stegosaurus they're aiming at. Burger, maybe get behind the tree. Like, I'll put Bert behind a tree. I feel like it's probably a bit pointless, but I'll do what I can. Okay, large marge. Large marge in charge. Let's get you back there. Oh, this is the best I can do. This is the best I can do, Chief. Oh my god, he hit level 11. Bert, the Stegosaurus. It's one of the best shots in this here colony. <laughs> What's that moth doing? I thought the moth was eating the Mego. Oh, God. Oh, John's eye. Uh, we could move them up slightly. They can't hit all of us. Okay, you go there. John. I mean, John's missing an eye, so he's literally almost blind. Marge, let's move you up as well. Okay, okay. Oh, watch out for the moth. We don't, we don't want to kill the moth. We don't kill moths here. What would Fowler say? Nice. Oh my god, I hate this. How have they not hit Bert? <laughs> Could take out John's eye from 50 meters away, but hitting the Stegosaurus somewhat hidden behind a tree. <laughs> That's far too difficult. That's far too difficult. Right, we good? Enemy unit of outpost of the Mego. Well, that doesn't sound nearly as, nearly as dangerous. Okay, let's get you guys patched up. You're going to haul Amigo Drone to the refrigerator. I feel like of all the things we should be eating, that's probably somewhere near the bottom of the list, if that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and untick our uh, monstrous corpses. John's blown out in three hours. Oh, God. So he's lost an eye. That's understandable. He's lost a toe. He was shot in the neck. Uh, that's pretty That's pretty lethal. The fact that he's still standing, even though he's shot in the neck, is, um, I mean, fairly impressive. I think we'll get away with doing one of these. Probably not. Who's our next best doctor? Uh, burger, burger, come back here. If John goes down, we're just gonna we're just gonna drag him here, and then we're gonna tend to him there. <laughs> Stegosaurus, no, Bert, just fucking Bert stopping to have a picnic there while John's like frantically trying to stuff up his eye hole with anything. He's actually fine. It takes more than that to take out John the Cowman. Now Bionics are also on the list. Oh God, he's lost an ear as well. Wait, talking zero. Oh, because he's got a cow mouth, a cow snout, and his neck has a giant hole in it. I mean, that's that's fair enough. The black dragon on the map? Wait, but aren't we... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're incubating a black dragon. We could try and tame it, sure. I don't think it's worth the risk. Especially when we're going to get one for free. Or at least I hope it comes out tamed, otherwise I'm going to ask for a refund. We might get our source of that. What, what's a Minmi? We can go for a Minmi. Other than that, though, I don't think there's anything we actually want. No, everything else is pretty boring. That means it doesn't deserve to live. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of cruel to go and gun down a <laughs> giant ground runner. Oh, so you put it in that freezer instead. You put it in that freezer. Okay, thank you for that. <laughs> oh, 
We've got bears shearing foxes. What the hell do you, what, the foxes give wool? I'm not sure I want to know where that came from. A bead made by Qlan emits a soothing psychic impulse when used. It grants temporary mood boost to everyone on the map. Or you can sell it to a rare merchant at the expensive price. 900 that gives a psychic soothe to everybody on the map is quite cheap. Gonna get Marge to frantically build some beds because I don't like the idea of my grizzly bear sleeping on the floor. <laughs> this is a bizarre image. <laughs> <laughs> She's there somewhere. I brought, hey, there we go. God, I can't wait till we get these battle mounts going. See, I am training the animals. There's John right there. Now look, now look, now look. We've got 285 achievement points because I am very good at Rimworld. We can spawn Joris Experience cargo pods aplenty with that. So I'm going to do it. Now, bear in mind, I, 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 I believe these aren't unique. So we're not going to spawn, you know, uh, a Void Joris, then a Xenomorph Joris, then a Joris Bombarian. That's not how that works. There's a chance we could get, I, I assume, three Sponge Jorises in a row. I think let's send one in. Let's send one in. You've detected a cargo pod crash nearby. Captive exotic polar bear seems to be inside. Who knows? But perhaps you'll find something useful in the wreckage. Or love. You may find love. I like that. I like that. Here he is. Oh. <gasps> It's Joruto. Now we do still have to tame Joruto. You don't just get a free a free bear. That would be that would be absurd. Okay, John. Get me a Joruto. What does Joruto do? Jarto's will reproduce by sexual reproduction till your map is filled with them. Match you up to temper map because I don't want to fry your computer. <laughs> a bit of the old bit of the old cargabushi no juts. Oh John gently honed a song to Joruto. As this friggin' dragon comes in and rips its legs off. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like a refund on my... On my Joris pod. <sighs> nope. Nope. Oh, do I, do I want to grow rice? Or should we just go like... We could grow like steel. We could just go straight into steel. Uh, resource plants. Kalga, a duchess of the Fallen Sovereignty, recently lost a scouting party pack to seven man-hunting four-legged uni Joris. <laughs> ah, oh, hang on, there's an achievement, isn't there? In, uh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, look. Acquire a golden uni Joris's horn that cures all diseases. It, it doesn't, but it's, it's ten achievement points. It's not massive. And, oh my god. Oh, I wanted to... I wanted to take the honor for Large Marge, but... But we've got potentially skin hardening, jump packs, healing factors, and specialized limbs. Counterpoint, I suppose, is we don't have any fucking steel. Uh, so that's a bit, <laughs> a bit redundant. Ah, uh, God, that's hard. But we could make Large Marge into a Duchess, which is pretty high tier. Obviously not, not yet. I'm saying, you know, in the long term. And with Marge, everything's in the long term. Except her lifespan. I'm sorry. When we get the drugs trade off the ground, we're going to have all the money we need with the exotic goods traders. We're caravanning out there. We're going to be fine. I, am I allowed to steal the guns? I mean, I'm not supposed to, of course. But if they're not biocoded, I am taking those. That one's not. That one's not. That's mine now. Free guns. Uh, let's not look at it as free guns. Let's say that the Empire knew that we had problems with our weapons and they have agreed to send some spares. This guy had three guns. You can't deny this. They agreed to send some spares because they knew we were having weapon problems. These are both biocoded. This one's still biocoded. So it's not like we're getting a load of weapons out of this. Okay, then. Who do I give? How can I find the shooting stat of a bear? <laughs> oh, it's got eight shooting single passion. Of course it does. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm here for. Those are, those are pigus. Uh, oh, there they are. We've got three mammoth worms, five black spellipedes, and a mega louse, and something else, and something else, and something else. It doesn't matter. Uh, the point is, now we're, now we're in, now we're in combat. I, all I'm going to say is, thank God we got these Janissaries, otherwise this, thank God we took this quest, otherwise this would potentially be a game over. Although, although, sometimes I astound even myself. Excellent. Basic area management. This is a new hype for the channel. Then we have the animals. Kill the other animals. It's just animals all the way down. 
The dragon. The dragon's shooting as well. They're all doing it automatically. I don't even have to tell them to do it. Well, this is phenomenal. Wait, can the bear not use a rifle? Oh, shit. I mean, on the calumet not having arms, that would make... Well, hang on, but the fucking Stegosaurus can use a revolver. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Who needs firepower when you've got this many animals? Yes, we will train the animals to kill. Don't worry. Then we can just do this, but a bit more conveniently, because I won't have to, you know, set down boundary boxes. Uh, we'll free equip it in the offhand. Does that work? No. Wait. Wait! Oh my god, hang on, now it's dual wielding? What the hell's happened there? Oh, no, it's... It, okay, okay, it can use it. You just have to equip it in its offhand. It's one of fat bears are left-handed. <laughs> Would have been a shame to not have the bear... To not have the bear with uh, with that weapon, seeing as it's our fourth best shooter in a colony of seven people. Oh, they've got Scarrier. We could, we could, we could put it in a cage. We could put it in a cage. We don't have any steel, but in theory, in the future, we could put them in a cage until we maybe get enough medicine to cure. Was it like ten medicine to cure Scarrier? Like regular medicine too? I actually have no idea. Yeah, it's three plain old medicine. So in the future, we'll build like a little quarantine cage, and then when we get these animals turning up, we'll just, we'll just. And anesthetize them, kill the scarrier, and tame them. That's a frightening sight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think we'll need the extra help. But it's probably good to be near the animals in case it kicks off. So let's come like down here. Let's come like down this way a little bit. Fowler, you can you can fuck off. Kirkland, I'm also gonna draft you up and get you out of here. Oh, Martinez is riding one of the Kulin. You'd assume this would be a lot harder than it is, given that they we're giving us like 6,000 in tech prints. Wow, that was like unbelievably easy. Even without the uh, the occasional animal assistance, that would have been that would have been nothing. Arge is now predator. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Quite a golden uni Joris horn. Fantastic. <laughs> we got an achievement for getting the the jelly from the black hives. Oh, yeah, there it is. Another chance. Okay, okay, okay. So that was another comment I saw. Uh, people were saying that all we've got to do is throw a prisoner in there. And then we can... Well, I mean, obviously, we don't have a prisoner right now. So it's a bit of a moot point. But we can throw a prisoner in there. And then we get a tamed Chthonian lava out of it. So there is a way to get something for the zoo from this. All we've got to do is put someone in there. Is that a manticore? Hey! Oh, that's from Magical Menagerie, I assume. Yeah, there we go. Manticores can throw poison coils from their scorpion-like tails. I will take one of those. That will be fucking incredible for the zoo. <laughs> He's a red sheep and a fat polar bear. Here's a full-on fucking manticore. At long last, my god. I, I, I don't know how much I'm gonna have to edit out of this episode. But we've been waiting and praying. Did that friggin' dragon just hatch? Don't think you could... I literally just hatched. Black Dragon Whelp 1. Somehow our zoo score has gone down? Or did it just go up by loads? No, it just went up by like 70, 76 points. Black Dragon Whelp 1. You need training ASAP. Because you would be insanely good. Like I was saying before that dragon rudely hatched. We've had no steel. We still really have no steel. But the first batch of steel shrooms has grown. I've got Martinius working on it, and I'm going to get him to work on it until he breaks down. I'm going to throw it on the floor as well, try and save as much time as possible here. Now, that's not going to be a massive amount of steel. I think it's 16 per 64 bulbs. But it's something. It is something that we finally got going for us here. With this, we can craft weapons. We can craft armor. We can outfit everybody with something. Rather than having our people fighting mechanoids and insects with panda hats and guns that we've stolen off of people that were here to do a quest for us. Oh, go on, John. He's getting out the lentils. It's a vegan manticore. Come on. John, this would be huge. Get me a manticore, John. Oh, this is dangerous. 29% chance. The manticore has accepted and joined John's community. The zoo score is up to 588. This is so good. Now we build more power. And then with the power, we can turn on the machining table. It's already on. We just don't have enough power. Oh, I don't trust that. I don't trust that for a second. We've got some batteries down now. Got two wind turbines. We've got on that front. Hang on. Let me take a look at you. Okay, he's bringing a <laughs> big old ram with him. Now, let me take a peek here. 
Uh, hunger rate. Where is hunger rate? 1.6. Okay. 1.6. And then let's compare that to martini. So for those of you who aren't familiar with, I believe it's elf for animals. Okay, I think this is actually legitimately just someone here to join us. I think it's elf for animals that adds the... Uh, the mimes. And mimes are... Is it mimes or mimics? I think it's mimes. They are animals in... Whoa. They're essentially these these disguised creatures pretending to be people, but they have a hunger rate that's like five times greater than regular colonists. So generally they eat all your food and then they turn hostile when they've eaten all your food. It's very rude of them. I've got the mega sloth trying to tame there as well. Do we have a muffalo? I think we have a muffalo, do we? Can't spend too long over here because we're by the insanity hole. <laughs> <laughs> Which, in hindsight, was a fantastic name for this channel. A 38% chance on the Kitsune. And then this thing was 69%. Life-threatening sanity loss. What does that mean? Let's take a look at Otto, then. I need to rename pretty much everybody in the colony at this point. So, we'll wor I'll worry about that in a minute. Incapable of Violent is pretty annoying. Social of 9 is a mad surgeon with one medical skill. That's... Thank you, Otto. That's really good. I I'm going to have to make him a warden, aren't I? I loved the idea of the moth or the bear recruiting prisoners, if we ever get any fucking prisoners. But in hindsight, it's got to be Otto. John tamed to Kitsune. Hey, there we go. Uh, is it okay? A sanity loss severe and a boom rat teeth. Well, that's, <laughs> that's very concerning. <laughs> this is so meta. It's just animals all the way down. He did it. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, this is the one somebody left a comment saying that if you, uh, I think this it, it, it's specifically also this dragon. If you can't tell by the name and it's extremely edgy look, if we mess up the tame on this, we're, we're dead. We're done for. 20% chance on failed tame. Okay. I want to at least watch the first tame where either A, John is horribly devoured, or, okay. <laughs> oh, Otto was a traitor. From the ancient elders. Do they have sidecasts then? They don't. So, I mean, that would make some sense. Otherwise, it would be a dead giveaway, wouldn't it? Martinius? No, what am I doing that for? We've got a bear with a rifle. Get him. Kill him dead. What the hell's he doing? He's kicking my table. Hey. You know what Rimwad ends up being if you destroy tables? Savage him. Savage him. Die. Oh. Oh. oh, no, what a terrible day to be Otto. Sacrifice Otto Roy. You will learn. How dare you sacrifice? Who's sacrificing him? Marge, large Marge. Chuck, 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 Chuck. Oh. <laughs> I take him after being harmed. Oh, my fucking God. They shot the... Yeah, they shot the Harbinger dragon. I bet the dragon tried to eat their muffalo. We got advanced components out of it, though. Uh, um, okay, okay, okay. Very simple plan. All but Marge. Hide. Like, fast. Another dragon. A wandering void dragon. Hello. You're also hideous. Chuck, 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 chuck. Send him, Marge. Send him. Kobe? The pit has ceased all activity. Well done, Marge. Uh, now, I'd recommend hauling ass as far as your large ass can haul. Hang on. Dragon's down. Oh, I mean, given how many times they've shot it with a charged shotgun, that's really not much of a surprise. Could we save it? Do I even want to save it? We need a cage. Can we build a cage? We've got enough steel for a cage. Can we build a cage, Marge? Marge? Cage time. We still don't have enough. Bollocks. But, 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 if we take some things apart and include what they've got in the trade caravan, we build. Hang on. Misc. Cage. I don't know where the cage is down there. Is giant animal cage is 625. There were 900 in total, but we do have to risk going near the big dragon. On stabilizing the dragon. And then, Marge, how's the cage coming along? 559 five, out of 625. She's done it. She's done it. She's done it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Carry to cage. Move to cage. Uh, we go on here and we say sign animal. Har what was it called? Harbinger dragon. Yes, it's the harbinger dragon. And then carry capturing. Oh, that's massive. Oh, that's so huge. 
You go in the cage. And we're good. Animals are peaceful. And will be cared by colonists even if the world can hold two creatures. Oh. I'm not sure if this is going to work. But I'm going to give it a go. Let's get you guys starting around this way. Foxes shoot the dragon. Dragon shoots at the foxes. The foxes are tanky. They anesthetize the dragon. I could have sworn they hit it then. Okay, come on, come on. Oh my god, it's aiming at Martinius. Okay, have we hit the... That, we are hitting the dragon. It's just not anesthetizing it. I guess it's a bit too tanky. It seems to be kind of pissed. It's not actually firing at us. <laughs> uh, it's like it's kind of... Uh, kind of in awe that we're even attempting this. Just keep firing. Maybe it'll go easy on... Look, 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 look. You see that? It's like the anesthetic effect started, but instantly disappeared. I wonder if we could just bring it down with the burns. Because look, the, the, it's down, it's down, it's down, it's down. That's it. We don't even need to have people with anesthetic. Prioritize capturing. Please stop firing. Please stop firing. We're going to send you... I, I put everything in kind of this quarantine area too. I put everybody inside in case of worst case scenario. Is it going to heal too fast? Okay, we've got it. We've got... Is that it? Is that all there is to it? Have we just captured two void dragons? Because it certainly looks to me like we've just captured two void dragons. And then we have to worry about taming it. Like, it's got that, that passive regeneration. I think because of that, that's great to know for the future. That I think certain dragons then aren't... Aren't capable of being anesthetized. Got weapon production, though. We've got a bolt-action rifle crafted by Martinius's fair hand. He's already got the laser pistol. Burger's got the revolver. Bert's got a revolver. Zia's got the... Got the bullpup rifle. Look from the caravan. Oh my god. Semi-automatic rifles, LMGs, carbines, marksman rifles. This has been... Oh, we've got an Eldritch wooden hatchet. Okay, that doesn't sound so good. Acclay High dog costume. Who was complete? Uh, Kirkland. Congratulations. There you go, Otto. Welcome. Welcome to the base. Hope you enjoy your stay. I don't know what happened down that Eldritch hole, but... We'll find out soon. I mean, I do know what happened. I've done it in quite a few series now, but... I'm trying to keep the tension high, damn it. What? <gasps> John 669.5. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. How do I get it out? Can we just release it? Please release it. Let it go. What if we say cleaning area? Will that force it out? It can't it can't leave. It's a it's a cage. I don't know how to get it out though. Uh um, assign animals. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Ancient Destroyer Dragon 1. I mean, I know it is because it's called Ancient Destroyer Dragon 1. Just wanted to be sure. All we've got to do now is... I'm not there. They feed it automatically too. Oh, it was Burger turning into a fox man. Hmm. No, it's a dog hood. But, you know, I think... <laughs> I think it does... It does... It does kind of work. Okay. 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 Okay, here we go. I assume it's equally as dangerous to be taming 7.2% chance. Okay, I feel like I'm, I'm a stuck record at this point. I'm going to say the same thing again. I feel like we didn't do much for the base because we've only just started getting good steel production. But now we are getting like good steel production. We've got a greenhouse. We grow it all year round. We've got the sprinklers, so it grows relatively fast. The more steel we get, the more sprinklers we can build. The more sprinklers we build, the faster the steel grows because it, it stacks. At least it used to. They might have, they might have patched it now or nerfed it. We've got foxes smelting the shrooms, the steel shrooms, and that gives us all the steel we'll need. We've got fabrication. We've got two advanced components. So now next episode, we build the... If I can find it. I'm not used to not having Doxord. We can build the fabrication bench. We can't because we don't have enough regular components, but we'll go caravanning. We'll take our new dragon out caravanning. We'll buy a few components. We come back, build a fabrication bench. We never need to caravan again, unless it's to peddle them cold, hard drugs. Then we've, we've got everything we need. We've got the keys to the kingdom. We've got the steel. We've got the components we need. The advanced components we need. From there, we can make we can make all sorts of, of power plants, batteries, hydroponics. And then from there, we grow plasteel, gold, silver. Everything we need to make this colony work. As we have unlocked this episode. Not to mention, zoo score, 669.5. Two void dragons, which everyone in the comments was telling me were the most dangerous dragons. Incorrect. I am the dangerous dragon now. Burger got to embrace his inner fury, and the bear got a machine gun. What more do you want in life? 
Thank you for watching. You know what I want to do in life? I want to update my end screen because it still says Roll 1D2 Games. And I'm not entirely sure who exactly that is or why exactly they've appeared on my end screen credits. But at some point, I'm going to update that. And I'm probably going to animate it uh, with a nice polar bear gentleman who you may or may not have heard of. Well, I mean, mentioned at least many times in this episode. Give everybody a big thank you, first and foremost, for, uh, again, your patience over the past few days while I've been, well, over the past week or th almost two weeks at this point, where we've had guests kind of constantly. It's been like a revolving door, seeing people for the first time in, in quite a long time, uh, uh, nearly two years for some people. So it's been it's been kind of catching up with life. We're, we're, we've caught up with life. We're through with life. I'm done with life. I don't need to socialize anymore. There's been two years worth of socialization in a week, and I'm, I'm sick of it now. So only video games and only dragon taming. And a big thank you to the patrons who allow me to, to be able to do what I like here, which is scream at animals. Thank you to Felpy, Kyle, JTJTJT, Passy965, The Incredible Gurren, Chax, Xylo, Greyplays, Zaka, Nikki Sticks, Summer, Tinseled Cloth, Hippie Springbeer, Chase, Applecat, and Blank, along with, of course, everybody. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. I'm going to pop up a message on Patreon in... I, I wanted to do it this weekend, but I really did not have five minutes free about potentially doing animal names. Uh, if anybody wants their regular names to become an animal name instead, there's going to be plenty of room at the zoo. Just as we kind of did it in the uh, in the zombie series, the names won't be like a full name, won't count as your colonist name, but it would be nice to give some people the opportunity because the names list at this point is genuinely like 200 names long. And with the amount of people who recruit per series, I'm kind of worried that people will never get a name because um, we get, we've get got more people like joining as names coming through. So it's kind of a lottery at this point, and I'd, I'd like to offer people that. So if you are interested, send me a message preemptively if you want. I'll put up a full post for those of you still listening uh, when I get five minutes thank you as well to kippos coldest flame trench gun nox immortalis walkin calron 24 marcus absent monty cody coat plasma spongy bum monster prince jordan erotha salakin j and deuterian